Welcome back to the Evolution of Higher Education, presented by Destiny Solutions. Intensive English Language Programs, or IELPs, are heating up in the higher ed space, and there's a few key trends you need to be aware of. To start off, the IELP landscape itself is beginning to shift. Right now, the majority of IELP students come from China and Saudi Arabia, but that's starting to change. In China, the domestic higher education infrastructure is improving, while Saudi Arabia is considering changing its very generous tuition subsidy program. As a result, higher education institutions need to start looking at different markets, and going forward, the biggest growth markets for IELP students are expected to be rich, rapidly industrializing countries with a poor domestic education infrastructure. These are countries like India, South Korea, Nigeria, and Malaysia. Once enrolled, IELP students are looking to gain a linguistic grounding that allows them to matriculate into full-time degree programs, and there's three programs in particular that IELP students have a tendency to gravitate towards. Business and Economics, Social Sciences, and Engineering tend to be the most popular programs for IELP students, because they have a tendency to lead to high-paying careers. After all, an international education experience is quite expensive, and these students are looking to gain a return on their considerable investment. Interestingly enough, students from more prosperous parts of the world have a tendency to gravitate towards programs in the humanities, as they're more looking for the soft benefits of a higher education experience than they are future earnings. Either way, an IELP program that can help a student learn the language of their discipline is going to stand out in the competitive IELP space. Now, the IELP space is very competitive, and unfortunately, the United States is starting to lose ground. American universities offer fewer IELP programs than countries they're competing against for students like Australia and the United Kingdom. What's more, American IELP programs are the most expensive in the world, costing significantly more than equivalent programs at Australian and British universities. Finally, Australian and British universities are actually working together to matriculate greater numbers of students into full-time degree programs. So a student can take an IELP at one institution and be accepted into a degree program at another as though they took that IELP in-house. What's already a competitive space is becoming even more fierce as more countries start offering IELP programming. Traditionally, IELP offerings have been concentrated in English-speaking countries, but this is starting to change. Universities in Baltic, Nordic, and Eastern European countries are beginning to launch greater numbers of English language degree programs, and as a result, they're also launching more IALPs to create pathways for more international students. Now, looking to the future, the United States is expected to remain competitive in the IELP space, but with more expensive programming, less availability, and a lack of unity between IELP providing institutions, there are a lot of barriers for international students to overcome. Thanks for watching this edition of the Evolution of Higher Education. We'll see you next time.